How are you, my friends? This uh, video is presenting eight old exams questions related to exponential and logarithmic equations. So this is related to uh, pre-calculus course lectures seven and eight. Let's see question number one. Given this nice equation, 125 to the power x plus five to the power three x plus one is equal 48. Given log of two is equal k, we need to find x. Now, if we look at the solution of question number one, we see 125 is five cubed. So we write here five to the power three x plus five to the power three x times five to the power one. See the second term, we can use the laws of exponents in the algebra course backward. See when you multiply here, you add the power. So you can go backward, made the addition in the powers as a multiplication with the same base. See that. Now, another idea here, we have a quantity here, five to the power three X. And here we have five to the power three X times five. So this is like Y plus Y times five, which is the same as adding Y plus five Y, which is six Y. That's easy to see. So here we can add a quantity plus five times the same quantity. It will be six times that quantity equals 48 divided by six, you get eight, eight is two cubed. Now we take log of both sides because we have the bases are completely different. Now we use the laws of uh, logarithms. Three X comes down here times log of five, three times log of two. Log of two given here is K. So I can put here K. Now I don't have log of five, so I can say use five as 10 divided by two. See the same number five, 10 divided by two. So now X will be K over log of five. Five, I can write it as 10 divided by two. Then I use the laws of logarithms here. Log of 10 minus log of two. Log of 10, I know this is one and this is already K. So the answer K over one minus K, which is the answer is D. Now question number two, given the equation, if log of five, same idea here, is equal to B, find X in terms of B. <clears throat> so we take here directly log base 10 on both sides. So log of five to the power two X plus one, log of 10 to the power one plus, plus X. So this one, you bring it down, use the laws here, two X plus one in the bracket times log five. And this one, bring it one plus X down with the bracket log of 10. Log of 10 is 1, so this is 1 here. Log of 5 given is b, so I put here b. So I need to find x, you see here? So let's expand the equation, multiply everything to get x. So from the last slide, we have this equation. Let's expand it, rearrange it, and take a common factor. So 2bx plus b1 plus x, or x plus 1 is the same. Take all the x's on one side, all the other numbers on the other side, take a common factor X, 2B minus one, divide by 2B minus one. So this is the value of X. Question number three, we need to find the sum of all the solutions. And this is a multiple choice question, A, B, C, D, E. This is the sum, this is the final sum. So 10 to the power X plus 20 times 10 to the power minus X is equal to 12. Let's see what can we do. All right, we use negative exponents here. 10 to the power minus X is one over 10 to the power X. See, so this is 20 over that. And this is a 12 and this is 10 to the power X. Multiply the whole equation by 10 to the power X. So this will be 10 to the power two X minus 12. You see, this is minus 12 on the other side times 10 to the power X plus 20 is equal to zero. So we can factor directly. 10 to the power X minus two, 10 to the power X minus 10. So this is equal to zero. So that means 10 to the power X is equal to two or 10 to the power X is equal to 10. X here will be one. And we take here a log on both sides. So X will be a log of two. So there are two solutions. Log two is one solution here. And then we have X equals one. So one is a solution. Find the sum. So log of two plus log of 10, because one is log of 10. So you can change it by uh, the product law. 
So it will be log of 20. So the answer is C, yes. If the sum of the solutions of this equation is log base A of square root of B, find A times B. Now let's see the solution of question number four. We cross multiply. So we have uh, one plus five to the power two X equals minus six and times minus one is six, minus six times five to the power minus two X. Let's rearrange the equation. So we use the uh, negative uh, exponent rule here, one over five to the power two X. And then uh, you bring six here, minus six plus one is minus five. Multiply the whole equation by five to the power two X. So this becomes five to the power four X minus, see minus the five here times five to the power two X plus the six, you cancel these two, make sure you get the correct signs. Then we factor five to the power two X minus two, five to the, to the power two X minus three. And then five to the power two X is equal to two or five to the power two X is equal to three. Let's use LE rule here in the base CC, the base five, continue in the next slide. So this is from the last slide. We have these two simple equations and this is the LE rule. So we have exponential there, X equals A to the power Y. You can change it to log Y equals log base A of X. So this one, two X, is equal log base five of two. Also this one, two X is equal log base five of three. So here we divide by two. So divide by two here becomes half. We put it on the power of two, square root of two. This one divide by two. So it will be square root of three, three power half. Now we need the sum. So you add this and this. When you add, see you multiply here the arguments. So square root of two, square root of three will be square root of six. Now we need, this is A, this is B, five and six. The answer is 30. Find the point or points of intersection of the graphs. We have this function F, this function G. We need the points where the graphs intersect. So this is the solution of question number five. We have F of X given, G of X is given. So we put f of x is equal g of x, which means y equals y, because at the point of intersection, if there is any, x will be the same x on both graphs, and y will be the same y. So I create an equation, ln of x plus 1, this is f, equals ln of x minus ln of 5. That's an equation, logarithmic. Let's use the laws of logarithms. So we have here on the right side, we can change it to quotient, ln of x over 5, and then since we have the same base, I can take argument one equals argument two, x plus one is equal x over five, cross multiply there, five x plus five is equal to x. So x will be minus five over four, which is negative. Now, sometimes negative is accepted. See here negative, if you put it there in the x, it will make the argument negative, which is rejected. And we have only one x. So since there is no value for X, no points of intersection. Let's find the sum of all the solutions of this equation. We have a big, nice equation, long log of two X minus one is equal log of four X minus five. One over 10 here is the base. And the answer, this is the sum here, MCQ, multiple choice questions. So we have to change the base one over 10 to make it base 10. All right, here on the right side, <coughs> I change the base. So this is log of X minus one over log of one over 10. One over 10 is 10 to the power minus one. I bring the minus down. So all of this becomes, here you see that one, minus log of X minus one. So now we have a nice equation. All the bases here is 10. So let's use the laws of logarithms on the right side here. It becomes a quotient also. So log of four X minus five over X minus one, then one to one property. We have two X minus one is equals four X minus five over X minus one. Cross multiply two X minus one times X minus one is equal four X minus five. We have to multiply, rearrange it, factor it, find the solution and then check. 
So let's expand, expand the equation. Just multiply here by FOIL method. Check the numbers, please. And then rearrange it. You get 2x squared minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0. So now we have 2x minus 3. x minus 2 is simple factoring. x will be 3 over 2 or x will be 2. We have to check, must check in the original equation here. So when you check the, this number, all the arguments are positive. So this is 3 over 2 accepted and also 2 is accepted. So the solution is 3 over 2 and E. So now we say find the sum 3 over 2 plus 2. So you have to find the LCD here too. So it will be 7 over 2 and the answer is E. Oh, the answer is E just to check it. Yeah, 7 over 2 here. The answer is E. All right. Question number seven, find the product of all the solutions of this logarithmic equation. Log base two of some argument equals two. So here directly we can apply LE rule. This is LE rule, I wrote it for you here. So this is the X, this is the X in the formula in the LE rule, X squared minus X minus two. The base is two to the power two, so that's four. So now the equation becomes X squared minus X minus six is equal to zero. See this four, take it on the other side, becomes minus four. Fact that this becomes x plus two, x minus three. So x will be minus two or x will be three. You have to check. See, in this case, one positive, one negative, both are accepted. So the solution set is minus two and three. Find the product, it's minus six. Find the sum of all the solutions of this logarithmic equation, ln of e to the power ln of x minus ln of x squared minus 3 is equal to ln of 2. Let's solve it first. So we know, we know in the properties e to the power ln of x is x. So this one here, e to the power ln of x is x. So the first term I write ln of x only minus ln of x squared minus 3 is equal to that. So I can use now the properties here on the left as a quotient, ln of x over x squared minus 3 is equal to ln of 2. Use one-to-one -one property, so x over this is equal to 2. Cross multiply, 2x squared minus 6 is equal to x. Rearrange it, find the uh, values of the x, 2x plus 3, and then x minus 2. When you multiply this, you get this equation quadratic. So x will be minus 3 over 2 or x will be 2. This is rejected. It will make the argument here, the first one, the argument will make it negative. And this is okay. Now here are the answers of the uh, eight questions we have just done. Now for other examples, please, and rules and the lecture itself. Please, you can see the videos on pre-calculus course lectures seven and eight. Each one is, is a separate lecture. One exponential equations, lecture number seven. Lecture number eight is logarithmic equations. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. And I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you for listening. Bye.